pressure. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Whenever you guys are ready, fire away. Well, Coach, you guys made it to Las Vegas. Just what's it been like the last couple of days getting in some extra practice here today, just getting the team used to being in Vegas again? Yeah, you know, last week was really busy just being on the road and playing during the day one day and then, you know, the evening the next. And we were kind of in the midterm uh, timeline of school. So last week was just really busy for the players and trying to get everything done. Um, I think the weekend's been a little bit nice for them just to kind of have a little extra downtime um, and be able to get ahead academically. And, you know, obviously it's nice being down here and just, you know, knowing where we are in the conference tournament or where we are seated in the conference tournament and then knowing exactly who we're going to play and having a couple days to prepare to get ready for tomorrow. And coach from that return from that two plus week hiatus or break or whatever you want to determine at this point in time, uh, what do you want to bottle from those that run y'all had uh, these last few weeks that you want to take with you now that you're in Vegas? I think our focus and our def our team defense has been really, really solid since we came back from that brief pause that we had. Um, I've been really impressed with the way our team has executed game plans in all four of the games since we've been back. And we're going to really need it. You know, Fresno State's an extremely good offensive team. You know, they can score. They've had games this year in the 90s, and that's just the normal for them. Um, and that's not the way that we typically are able to beat people is playing that type of high scoring game. So we really need to slow them down and be able to, you know, try to not have the game be quite so high scoring. And we're going to need everybody that plays in that game to play great team defense and great scouting report defense. With Fresno, you you like, like, uh, oh, go ahead, Jim. You stayed kind of close to them last time and they pulled away in the second half. It seems like both games, how do you prevent that again this time? You know, we have to really take care of the ball. Um, the second game against them, it was really tight. I think it was a one-point game in the fourth quarter. And we just, you know, we we got some good looks. We just didn't make them. You know, going back and watching that film, it was like we did a lot of stuff right. We just didn't make shots in the fourth quarter. And we had a couple breakdowns, um, and they did make shots. And we actually did some things that we planned on doing to try to take away, you know, their best players and make it hard for them. And they had other people step up and hit shots. And that's what good teams do. And I think that's what good teams do in March, too. You need other people to step up. You know, you, you expect your best players and people you've been counting on all year to do what they've been doing. But then usually, you know, some teams will have kind of an unsung hero, somebody that steps up and hits a big shot when the other team is trying to take somebody else away. And that's kind of what they did to us when we played them in January. So, um, you know, we just know that, they, like I said, they're going to be rested too. And I feel like they were a little bit banged up at the end of the season. And we're going out against a team that's had the last two years conference player of the year in Maddie Udy and now um, Haley Cavender. And then they have Haley's twin sister, Hannah, who's first team all conference. So they are really, they're really loaded up. They got great players and, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun challenge for us in March. And that's what you want. You want to play the best teams this time of year and you need to earn those wins to have the opportunity to keep playing. Are you guys all healthy going into this? Are we all healthy? Yeah. Yes, we are. Yes. And coach, you had mentioned, you know, trying to keep them away from that 90 point range. Do you have a specific point range in mind where you feel confident to where if we keep them here, hey, we can, you know, be right in this thing? You know, I think if it's in the 60, 70 point range, you know, that's definitely a game that we can that we can compete in. Um, and, you know, if we shoot the ball well, maybe you get a little bit higher than that. But we're just we haven't been a team this year that's scoring 90 some points a game. And we're OK with that. We kind of know what our strengths are and we ha we know how we need to. Um, do things on both ends of the floor to be successful. But we've also talked about to be a great team and a team that's playing for a championship after your conference season's over, you have to kind of be able to win any type of game. If it's a grinded out game, you got to be able to find a way to win a game like that. If it's a game that's really high paced and there's a ton of possessions, how do you win a game like that? And I think our team has really bought into, okay, what kind of game is this? And what do we need to do to win in this style of game? And I think you saw that at Air Force, especially the first game. It was a real grinded out, tough swing. You know, it was tough. And our team just found a way to win. And then the second game, it was a little more free flowing and we were able to score more points and really, you know, take advantage of some things. So I think our team's been really flexible this year, you know, not just basketball, but with everything that's been going on. And I think within games, I've been flexible too and focused on how do we win in the style of play that's going on right now. 
Coach, just how important will it be just to contain um, just Fresno State? I mean, with their top scores, like you were just mentioning before, but since you guys have been playing such strong defense that you really need that for all four quarters on Monday. Yeah, yeah it'll, be a, it'll be a great challenge, Shannon, honestly. Um, and any let up you have, they can just hurt you, and they can hurt you in so many ways. And the three players that I mentioned, you know, Haley and Hannah Cavender and then Maddie Udy, then they have Ali Gomez, who's like, you know, she she is a all conference caliber guard that has started all four years at Fresno State, and she has a really great track record of timely uh, shooting, hitting big shots for their team, or getting a timely offensive rebounds. Or she just so you know they're just they have a lot of weapons and a lot of pieces, and so for us, we we're aware of those things, and we just have to you know try to utilize everybody on our team to make it hard. Um, and just show up for us. I feel like we know what we are looking for on offense, defensively. We know what they're going to do, and, and I feel like they're so good. We can know what they're going to do, and they can still probably do some of it, and then they're going to hit shots. They're really great shot makers. Stakes are a little higher. Makers, uh, oh, go ahead, Jim. I say the stakes are a little higher this week. How do you kind of deal with the pressure of going to this tournament and get the girls to settle down? Yeah. I think the best way with the, with the team is you, you don't – like you embrace the pressure and having pressure is a privilege. Like how lucky are, is our group that we have something in our life that matters like this and that we get the opportunity to play for something that makes us this excited and like being nervous is good, you know, because it means that you're doing something special and that's important to you. And we really try to look at things that way. Um, and I don't know what I was going to say with that. Sorry. Um, oh, I was going to say that I think the first game of the conference tournament sometimes is the hardest just because everybody has a little bit of jitters. You're in a new environment and you know it means something. And so um, a lot of times if you can just get that first game out of the way, you kind of settle in and play better. Um, and within that first game, obviously, you have to settle in at some point. If you're nervous or whatever, that's not going to go well for you. But I think early um, in some of those contests, you see it sometimes be a little bit sloppy or teams just not quite playing like they're used to. And once teams settle in, then it just kind of you don't really remember all the other extra stuff. You're just trying to win the game that you're in. And Coach Deja being named all-conference, obviously, what has she meant to your team's success this season as well as how big will she be against Fresno State where, if need be, as she's proven before, she can take over games down the stretch? Yeah, I just, you know, our staff and everybody in our program is so happy for her. The way she finished last year, she was playing, like, at an all-conference level at that point. I thought from, like, February on last year, she was one of the best guards in our conference, and you know, at, in the off season, we told her that, you know, you, you keep putting in the work, like you should be all conference in this conference. And so, you know, I'm just ecstatic that she was able to get recognized that way, but also just her teammates without her teammates and the way that our team performed overall, I don't think she wins that award. And I think sometimes with individual awards, it's not talked about enough about how other people kind of make that happen. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a team award that I hope everybody in our program feels proud of, but yeah, you know, she's somebody that can hit big shots at the end of the shot clock, somebody that can, you know, take over in transition, especially. Um, and then we've had a lot of different people step up and have big games. You know, Nia had two great games and at Air Force and Megan Ormiston had two great games and double figures, both games. And, you know, the, our last game against Utah State, LaPresia Johnson had 18 and Amaya West is somebody that's shown that she can score in double figures. So, having four other players around her that can step up and also score in double figures, I think takes some of the added pressure off of her, but at the same time that, you know, it gets down to the end of the clock and the ball's in her hands. I think everybody in our program feels pretty confident about what's going to happen in that situation. Along with just Deja and a couple of the other returners that you mentioned with Nia and just LaPresia, the seniors, just, you know, how important is it going to be for them to, be at their best along with the rest of the team, just because a lot of the girls are new to this conference tournament here. Yeah, I think for them, they're just excited. You know, I, I think they feel very confident right now with the way that we finished the season and they're just excited to come down here and just see what happens. You know, I know that they feel extremely prepared and, you know, just kind of comfortable with the way that we're playing and comfortable with their role within our system. And so I think that group that you just mentioned along with Kenna Holt, they just provide so much poise and confidence for our team and they just kind of feed off of each other. So I think that group of returners with all of that experience and, you know, Kenna, who I think plays way beyond her years as a freshman, you know, it's, it's a good group definitely to go play anybody on any given night. Anything else guys? Okay. Thank, you, all. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll have this recording Thank up you. shortly.